Chairman, Mr. Engel, two minutes. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, and after, well, an hour and 40 of debate, I still have the impression that this agreement, most unfortunately, has uh, not so much to do with either security uh, or protection of privacy, and that it has much more to do with creating a European legal framework for the enforcement uh, of US PNR practices. There is no doubt that the United States can act as they wish with respect to what they require of somebody who enters their territory. And it is upon the one who wants to enter their territory or, uh, to decide whether or not they want to comply with that. There is also no doubt that the United States will go to any length to obtain what they seek. And that is where our problems lie because we're dealing with an executive agreement in this particular case. Now, most unfortunately, the United States do not have a Treaty of Lisbon conferring upon the Senate or Congress the right the unconditional right to uh, ratify agreements, international agreements that the United States enter into. This one uh, is entered into by the President of the United States and cannot and will not either create or confer rights that do not already exist under current US law. So as sorry as I am for myself, also for my group without whom I have to vote today, I cannot give my consent to an agreement which indeed does not change what currently happens, because it cannot change what currently happens. With this agreement, nobody is going to stand in any line any less long than they currently do. With this agreement, nobody is going to be treated any better at a border crossing point in the United States than they currently do, and nobody indeed will have any sort of better data protection than what they currently have, because in case of need, the United States will just have to say that the sort of redress that in any sort of possibility a European citizen seeks is not allowed by current US law. Madam President, I'm sorry, I can't.